वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न एट स्टैंडर्ड साइंस सब्जेक्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ सी लेसन नंबर एट पोल्यूशन नाउ सी स्टूडेंट हाउ पोल्यूशन इज देयर क्वेश्चन आंसर्स ऑफ लेसन नंबर एट पोल्यूशन लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन आंसर्स नाउ सी यर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फॉलोइंग आर सम स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट पोल्यूशन विच टाइप ऑफ पोल्यूशन डू दोज एक्सप्रेस नाउ सी फर्स्ट वन Fog seems to be applying in Delhi during day hours. Now answer is air pollution smoke. Now next many times vomiting and digestive occur after eating pani puri. Now see answer water pollution contaminated food and water due to bacteria or virus. Now next problem of sweezing occurs sometime during visit to garden. Answer air pollution due to pollutants. Next crop does not grow up in some areas. Answer soil pollution. Now last one people living in the busy squares face the problems like short breathing and other respiratory problems answer air pollution due to traffic now question number 1 is completed now let's see question number 2 read the passage and identify the sentences expressing type of pollution now i am reading the passage nilesh is a student of standard 8 and lives in urban areas it takes about an hour to go to the school by bus he faces the heavy traffic of two wheelers four wheeler rickshaws buses while going to school he is facing the problem of asthma since last few days doctor recommended him to stay away from urban areas since then his mother sent him to the village of his maternal uncle nilesh saw the heaps of garbage at many places in the village foul smell of human and animal wastes was present by many places blackish water with flow smell was flowing in a stream he developed sub adrenal diseases within few days now see student here we have to find sentences and which pollution is there that we have to find now see answer here is seven sentences is there now let's see first one is it takes about an hour to go to the school due to traffic jam no nilesh is spending more time in polluted contaminated air Now student let's see the second sentence he faces the heavy traffic large scale combustion of fossil fuel now see next he is facing the problem of asthma air pollution harmful to human health now fourth the heap of garbage at many places solid waste it means land pollution now fifth one foul smell of human and animal wastes biological pollution and air pollution now next blackish water with flow smell was flowing in a stream it means impure sewage management water pollution now next he developed sub adrenal diseases within few days water pollution effect on human health now here we completed our question number 2 let's move to question number 3 match the pairs from a and b columns and explain the effect of pollution on human health now see column a and column b is given so now see column a and column b both First one, water contaminated cobalt means paralysis. Now next, methane gas, skin cancer. Third, water containing lead, metal redness. Fourth, sulfur dioxide, irrigation of eyes. Fifth, nitrogen dioxide, effluxion of lungs. Here we complete our question number third. Also, let's move to question number fourth. True or false? Now see, water does not get polluted by washing the clothes in running water of river. So answer is false. Even if washing of solid clothes is done in running water it will cause pollution no as the dirt and the waste materials will be added to water this certainly will cause water pollution now next more the use of electrical appliances more will be the pollution so answer is true most of the electricity generated in india by burning coal the power generation plants thus cause lots of air pollution more the electricity is used by using more applications there will be more pollution however only pollution generation through solar energy cannot cause pollution now students here we completed our question number 4 let's move to question number 5 answer the following now first one is what is pollution now see the answer contaminating of nature environment that can harmfully affect the environment is called pollution okay now let's move to next question What are pollutants? Answer: The products which affect the normal functions of ecosystem and have an adverse effect on plants, animals, and humans are called pollutants. Now let's 
move to next question what is acid rain now this answer you have to write in the points points now see first point when rain water contains harmful amounts of nitric and sulfurous acid it is called acid rain now second burning of fossil fuel such as coal wool petroleum etc releases nitrogen oxide and sulfuric acid into atmospheric air third since the oxide are soluble in water they dissolve in rain water nitrogen and sulfurous oxide dissolve in large quantities of water vapor form acid like nitric acid nitric acid sulfuric acid and sulfuric acid now let's move to next question what is greenhouse effect this answer also you have to write in the points now see first point greenhouse effect in the planet due to which global warming and climate change occur now second the earth receives solar energy in the form of heat from the sun the surface of earth absorbs this heat and reflect it back to the atmosphere as infrared radiation some of this heat energy goes directly into space let's move to third point but due to pollution there is an elevation of co2 ch4 and water vapors in the atmospheric some of the radiation are absorbed by the gases this radiation is sent back to the earth surface in the form of heat energy now here is last point that is fourth point the gross impact to greenhouse effect is global warming and climate change now next question that is which are visual polluted known to you let's see the answer of this question the polluting substances that are seen easily with the naked eyes can be called as visual polluted example solid waste plastic article plastic bag the suspended things in the water metal refuse etc okay so here we completed this question also let's move to next question that is which are invisible polluted in the previous question what we have to learn visual polluted in this question we have to learn invisible polluted now let's see the answer of this question did water completely dissolved in the water or mixed in the air cannot be seen and hence they can be called invisible polluted since they are not seen we remain unaware about the presence of the pollutants example the insecticides sprayed on the crops air releases many hazardous gases in the air tonic compound that are totally solved in water etc so here we have completed our question number 5 now let's see the question number 6 that is also answer the following okay now let's see the first give to example of each of the following soil and air pollution from your residential area that question answer also i am giving now let's see the answer of this question now here you have to make three parts no air pollution water pollution and soil pollution okay so in each of the pollution you have to make two two examples so let's see the air pollution first example new building are constructed old structure are demolished this is creating lots of dust pollution there is full of particulate matter second example the number of vehicles on the road has transmission increases this causes smoky environment so here we completed air pollution now next water pollution first the sea shows lots of floating plastic and decaying flowers etc when beaches are visited it is a common sight no second example many fishes are seen dying in great numbers and are washed off to the store now third pollution that is soil pollution first example everywhere garbage heaps are seen in that plastic bag is needed old medicine glass and cartons are seen in abundance now second the slide board by rain water is sprayed everywhere and that causes stain now next question what does the pollution occur due to vehicles give the names of vehicle causing lead pollution now here also points is there no now see the answer first point more than 50% of the air pollution is caused by vehicular traffic now second point particulate matter urban hydrocarbon nitrogen oxide and carcinogenic hydrocarbons are present in the automobile extent third fossil fuels like petrol diesel natural gas gasoline etc which are burned to run the automobile lead to the emission of co2 and other gases now last and fourth number therefore vehicles are said to be the major contributors to air pollution